Hey everybody, Professor Davis here from ChemSurvival.com, the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. And today I made my first grocery store trip in over a week here in Northern Virginia. Uh, when I did that, uh, I saw some things that I didn't see the last time. Uh, some things that were kind of heartening actually, and that is that a lot of people are observing social distancing practices and trying to protect themselves with PPE or personal protective equipment, like these gloves here. Uh, so that got me to thinking, you know, Using a protective glove is not necessarily a bad idea when you're out in public, but the gloves are only good as the technique that you use and the thought that you put into it while you're wearing them. And so today I'm going to give you a quick talk here about how we protect ourselves in a lab, but everything translates perfectly into how you might protect yourself in a grocery store using these protective gloves. Now I've got two different versions here. Uh, one of these, these are latex protective gloves. These are made from natural rubber. And then the other type that you might find that are very popular these days is nitrile rubber. Now nitrile rubber is synthetic. And because of that, the few folks who have allergy issues with latex don't have to worry about that. They can use nitrile gloves like these. Now first things first here, folks. If you have got multiple unopened boxes of this kind of equipment, you need to stop this video right now, contact your local healthcare providers, and try to find someone who needs them even more than you do. If you've got a few laying around the house, they're not going to take open boxes. So, of course, it makes sense to try to use those to protect yourself and your family. So, we prefer to use nitrile gloves in our teaching labs. And that's because they have different resistance to solvents than latex do. And they meet our needs better. But when it comes to keeping things like pathogens off of our hands, bacteria and viruses, either one of these should work actually quite well. But when you have them on, you need to remember a few things. The first is... Gloves don't make you invincible. If you have a glove on your hand, touch a contaminated surface, then touch your face, you might as well not have the glove on. Gloves can still transfer and transmit materials just like your bare hands can. So if you're gonna be wearing your gloves, be sure that you're always cognizant of normal safe behavior, including not touching your face and being careful to try not to touch any surfaces that you don't necessarily have to, okay? Um, now, the other thing I want to mention is these gloves are disposable. They're very inexpensive, and they're disposable for a reason. And the reason is that you don't want to wear them for extended periods of time while you're performing multiple tasks in different places. When we do that, again, if the gloves get contaminated and then I walk into another room and perform another task, I run the risk of moving that contaminant into the other room, spreading it around. So even if you've got these gloves, you have to be careful to deglove often and re-glove when you're out and about. So that brings me to the last point and probably the most important one. Protective gloves do the real work when you're taking them off of your hands. If you get them contaminated, and we always assume that they are when we remove them, you have to get these gloves off your hands without letting your skin touch the outside of the glove. So how do you accomplish that task? Well, here's how I do it. I think to myself, let's imagine my gloves are covered in something I really don't want touching my skin. I can touch the outside of one glove to the outside of the other and invert that glove, removing it. Now this is the inside of that first glove. So I successfully removed that without having the outside of the glove come in contact with my skin and the inverted glove is now safe for me to handle. But if I handle my second glove in exactly the same fashion, I'm touching the outside of my glove with the skin of my hand potentially transferring contaminants. So to remove the second glove, what I need to do is worm my fingers down underneath and invert it by pulling from the inside of that glove. Right? And now my pair of gloves is completely inside out. I've inverted them 100%. They're safe for me to handle from the outside. I can dispose of these in a responsible way and re-glove if necessary. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope that was informative. Um, be safe out there if you choose to use gloves. Remember, they don't make you invincible. They can still transfer things around in our environment, and you got to get them taken off the right way. Okay, folks, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Hey gang, Professor David's here from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos here.